you have been a pioneer for women board directors in Chile. You were one of the first female board directors and you acquired uh, a lot of visibility. Uh, how has that impacted the evolution of participation of uh, Chilean female board members? I believe that in the last eight years, uh, it has uh, improved a lot. Uh, I see now, uh, but not only, uh, not only in terms of numbers, but in terms of quality. But uh, the difficulties were how to uh, include more women and not to expect that to be there, you had to have a very long and experience and to be very visible. And uh, I have uh, watched in the last eight years, I think, how women that were less visible started to get in the, on the boards. And that was the result of, I think, women that, like me, that have been working with different organizations to make sure that uh, women were visible. But also in the last few years, something else happened. Uh, government, both Bachelet and, uh, and Piñera, uh, have been setting um, goals for uh, participation as ministers, participation in general in the public service. So I think you, you go up in this by example. Uh, I, I have never believed in quotas. Uh, obligatory quotas, mandatory quotas, but I, but I think uh, that uh, example is uh, is very important. Even one question on that regard: There's a myth that because women in Chile haven't had a lot of executive or top executive positions, they are not prepared to serve on the boards, and that there's not enough women to be board candidates. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, I, I think it's true that there is a, we have the disadvantage of uh, not having enough women at the executive, the high executive level. Uh, but there are many women uh, that have had uh, high positions in different areas. And, uh, you know, uh, boards now are not necessarily uh, looking for women that have been executives in the same sector. They, they are looking also uh, for people that have different ways of, um, of uh, you know, different ideas about society, about strategy, about the future uh, of the world sometimes. And if, if you look at the women that have been, um, have been incorporated in the last few years, there is a mixture of people that were in companies or people that work in the, in the public sector, people that work in universities, in the academic world, uh, because you, you don't, it's, it's not necessary to look only uh, for engineers and lawyers. Diversity is not only about gender, it's about views of the world. You mentioned a little bit earlier about this building this culture of inclusiveness because one thing is to incorporate a female board member but then how to create this culture of inclusiveness what i think is uh, what you are saying is more related to more traditional companies family companies medium-sized companies that are not listed and those are extremely traditional and it's difficult to work in them as a woman, because uh, it's particularly in Chile, they, if you look at the family companies, most of them don't even have participating the women of the family. It's only the men of the families. The culture is so strong that women actually feel uh, uncomfortable and they feel that they are not heard they're, they don't listen to them. I think that uh, for a company like that, you need to um, make sure that you have the objective, the objective of, uh, of the, the, the head of the company to, uh, to change. And then um, 
be very keen on cultural change. There is no other way. Uh, but when you introduce one or two women in a board, independently of uh, what it was, the starting position of that board, uh, these women change the culture of the world. And besides this conservatism you describe about Chile, are there any other reasons why Chile lags behind other Latin American countries in the participation of uh, female board members? When I was working in the Inter-American Development Bank in the 80s, I, I worked in most of the countries of Latin America in different projects. And uh, there was a, a clear difference between what, what was happening in the rest uh, of Latin America, in which women were advancing. They had, for example, Colombia, they had a minister for the first time, a woman minister in the, in the 1980s. And in Chile, nothing was happening. When Chile became uh, a country that was participating in, economic, in, in international forums everywhere, uh, mentality started to change. 